Hi there, it's Ryan with DoHardMoney.com. Wanted to talk to you today a little bit about how to find off-market properties. Uh, this is like the mecca for real estate investors. So what an off-market property is, is a property that's not listed on what's called the multiple listing service. The multiple listing service is basically a database that's publicized and then it's sent to a whole bunch of other websites that shows properties that are for sale. Where somebody's hired a real estate agent and said, I want to sell my property. Will you help me sell my property? So that's basically what the MLS is. Now with that MLS, what happens is you have lots of people that are trying to find property. So when they find those properties, there's a bidding war or prices go up. Even if there isn't a bidding war, prices go up because of the sure volume of information and the advertising that's being done for these properties. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to find people off market properties or properties that are not listed on the MLS, that are not listed with a real estate agent, but have equity and have motivation. So what we're trying to do here is find people with equity and find people with motivation. So what we do is we do a reverse amortization where we say how much was owed on the property when they took out the loan. And so when they took out the loan 10 years ago, let's say they owed $100,000 to keep numbers really simple for example purposes. And then let's say that their interest rate, we don't know what their interest rate was, but what we do is we take the average of the interest rates of that year. So if interest rates for that year fluctuate from 5% to 6%, we're gonna say 5.5% for example purposes. And then we're gonna do what's called reverse amortization. So we're gonna say, hey, if the loan was for 100,000 and the rate was 5.5% and they made their monthly payments up until now, they would approximately owe this amount of money. And so we can do that just with computer system really simple we do this on on all properties and so you'll actually have that then what we do is we compare that against what's called an AVM so I don't know if you've done a refinance recently a bunch of banks are doing them some banks say we don't need an appraisal well why don't they need an appraisal because your credit's great you have enough equity in property and so what they then use is what's called an automated value management system um, it's something that banks use all the time when you're refinancing property so we use that exact same thing. We tap into the database. It says, hey, this is about approximately what the property's worth. Now, that doesn't mean that's really what the property's worth. The banks were able to use that because they know that there's a low probability you'll stop making your mortgage payments. So we use that to determine if we should go send a postcard out, if we want to go spend 50 cents. Um, and so we'll use the AVM and we'll use the um, how much is owed, the reverse amortization, which will give us how much equity we have. I typically like to go after properties that at least have $50,000 worth of equity and sometimes a little bit more, depending upon the market I'm actually going after. So that's the first step in this. The second step in finding these off-market properties is motivation. So that's when we're looking for, for records like divorce and bankruptcy and out-of-state owner and non-owner occupied. If we can find a landlord that's sick of their property and we can send them a postcard, do a skip trace, and uh, voice broadcast them or call them directly the day that tenant has completely trashed their property, there's a good chance they're going to want to sell. But it's a numbers game and that's the thing a lot of people don't realize is you've got to send out a lot. You've got to have a lot of lines out in the water before you're ever going to catch a fish and you got to spend a lot of time fishing. So the greatest thing you can do as you're looking for these off-market properties is to find properties that have motivation, that have equity, and then making sure they're in the areas that you're wanting to go after. If you need any help with any of this, check us out over at dohardmoney.com. We've got a great software called Investor's Edge, may be of help to you. Um, otherwise, make it a very profitable day.